Welcome to the When Creativity Knocks All-Star Designers Summer Series. Today, Jonathan Fong is here to show us this super fun tiki project. So Jonathan, tell us about this super fun project that you've brought today. Well, this is kind of like a cross between like make your own tiki and Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> it's so much fun. Because <laughs> uh, if you're having a party, like everybody can make their own and then you put them all together to make the totem pole. Stack I, them taller and taller. Yeah, I think it'll be, it's a lot of fun because uh, the parts are interchangeable, uh, you know, the ears, eyes, nose. Uh, so it, It's such fun and, and for any age group, you know, oh, little kids or big kids. <laughs> I think the big kids would enjoy it a lot Probably more. Probably more. <laughs> <laughs> little kids are like, ah. <laughs> So tell us how you did it, Jonathan. What do we do first? The first thing is, you know, to save these cans. Uh, Upcycling. That, yeah, I, I, I love to save cans and use them. Uh, so I have these cans and we're just painting them with the Deco Art Americana uh, chalky finish paint. Great. They have a great uh, opaque finish and you're using these great thick brushes from Low Cornell. Yeah. Uh, I love this brush because it doesn't leave any streak marks. Yeah. I, and with this paint, I get like one coat coverage. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, they are great brushes. Yeah. Uh, so, so I painted them, but then I put a cream finish on it as well. And just follow the instructions that come with it on. Yeah, it's, it's so easy. To it kind of gives finish. it that antique tiki feel. So. Yeah, yeah, like, like we're <laughs> antique tiki. <laughs> antique tiki. Because we're going for really authentic antique. <laughs> authentic. Right? Like, like real tiki the totem poles. You're really real Hawaiian, like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so you know it, it has this wonderful patina. I chose different colors, and uh, it, it's, it's a great fun. starting point. It's fun. All right, so we're going to show you next what the next steps are. So how did we make all of these fun face elements for our tiki's? Well, the face elements are made with Macon's clay because mm -hmm. it comes in all these wonderful colors, and it's so easy to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, so most of them are made by putting the clay through this wonderful machine. Through the Ultimate Clay Machine. Yeah. And it looks like you rolled them, is that like a three? Yeah, it's at a three. Which is a little yep. less than a quarter of an inch if you're hand rolling your clay, but so we'll just, whoops, my handle's coming out here. We'll just start with a one and I'm backwards, so forgive me. And then jump it up to a two. And then let's go to a three. And this machine has non-stick rollers, whoops, so that it, the clay doesn't stick. Yeah, and you get it perfectly flat. All right, so just under an eighth of an inch if you're hand rolling. We'll move this. So then I just let it uh, dry overnight. Just let it dry. Yeah, uh, and you know, I got all these great colors, and uh, it's really easy to cut either with scissors, but I actually used uh, some Sizzix dies. Mm -hmm. I went through my stash of all my Sizzix dies, and I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just looked like all the different things that could be eyes and nose and uh, mouths. It was so cool. The fun different geometrics you used yeah. are so much fun. Uh, yeah. you know, for example, uh, uh, these eyes here are the leaf die from uh, Eileen Hall. Yeah. And uh, these are uh, little hydrangea dies. And uh, these eyes here are uh, Tim Holtz's uh, gears, gears, gadget gears. So uh, much fun, and, so and much I'll fun. I'll show you, I, I just did one right now. You yeah. just roll it through your Sizzix machine. We do have a tutorial on our site that shows you exactly how to use the Sizzix machine. And you do it the same with the clay as you do with paper or yeah, cardstock. Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. And it cuts it just like that, as long as it's dry first. Right. You make sure your clay is dry yeah. first. Uh, but look how it so yeah, pops right out. Pops right out. Uh, and yeah, I. Uh, the little part in here I use as use well. That. See, you've got little dots there yeah, with that. Yeah, save everything. 
And even uh, this the negative, negative space, space. Uh, I made a mouth out of that as well. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's so wonderful. Uh, another way to make these uh, shapes is to use the Macon's clay extruder. Yes, it's, the ultimate clay extruder. It's so much fun. Okay, so you notice uh, the hair here, mm -hmm. uh, which is inspired by <laughs> the master himself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I wanted a tiki god to look like He kind of looks like, like a long last cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am from uh, Hawaiian royalty. Uh, so, we put this, uh, what do we call these little... The little discs that go discs. in the end. There's yeah. a sort of different shapes and sizes that come with the kit. And you just roll your clay and place it in the barrel. This unscrews and place it in the barrel. Put your disc in the end and then screw it back on and then turn the handle and it extrudes all different shapes. It's so fun. Here it comes. <laughs> Look at, already it looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's great. It's a fun way to, to do different elements for yeah. different projects. And So if you just took it, took it out here and I just squeezed the bottom of it to mm -hmm. flatten it out and connect them all, and then let it dry. Yeah, 24 hours to be fully dry, yes. but thin pieces like this or thin extruded pieces like this will take much less time. Yeah, and then after the pieces are dry, then on the back, I put uh, magnets. Uh -huh. uh, so you'll notice uh, on all these pieces. And you, I see you use that magnetic tape that you can cut to the size that you need. Yes, yeah, so you just cut it to exactly the size. It has adhesive on it, but it doesn't really work that a well. Lot, especially, <laughs> and where it's going to be handled a yeah. lot. Yeah, so yeah. you said you had used the uh, beacon. So I used a, a beacon three-in-one uh, adhesive, and I, I love this because this is just like uh, li liquid cement. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and it's clear. Yeah. Uh, and it, and don't it works have to worry so about quickly. it showing. Yeah. yeah. So and it adheres very quickly. Too. Yeah. As That's, soon as yeah. I put it on and I put the magnet on there, it, it starts to dry. Yeah. Yep. So I, I loved it. Uh, so all these pieces have magnets on them. So then you. Now you got some bling on some of our eyeballs. Yeah. How did we make our bling well, eyeballs? <laughs> you know, these tiki gods love their bling. <laughs> Okay, so to make these eyeballs, I use Judykin's Diamond Glaze. Mm -hmm. And it's great because it's dimensional. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not just like a flat glue. It's, it gives this wonderful kind of eyeball-like quality it. has to a it. shine, but it's also adhesive, so you can yes. add inclusions to it, which is really neat. And I think it's, you've used some of the rocks so and the glass I, I, beads. I put and rocks. I did glass beads. Uh, you see, you know. They're, the different they're, colored chunky. Yeah. I love the rocks because they're, they're chunky and they're, they're not... Uh, Dainty, you know, they're primitive. Yes, so it was, it was, rustic. It was, yeah, uh, and then uh, for these, I had the glass beads on them. Uh, so it's, it's a really fun way to add details to these as well. To the fun pieces. Yeah. This is so much fun. I mean, you could have an assortment of these out on a table and have a party for <coughs> any age group. Oh yeah. And have everybody make their own, like you say, and stack them. And I'm ready for a luau. What about you? We're gonna put the wow in luau. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for being Thank part you. of our summer series. <laughs> We sure hope you've enjoyed When Creativity Knocks All-Star Designer Summer Series. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and pin us on Pinterest. And sign up on our website to receive our weekly newsletter and be eligible to receive one of our weekly prize packages full of products from all of our series sponsors.